Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net and this is the challenge that I call the Adeptly Adaptive Challenge. Uh, you will be asked to create adapt an adaptive um, uh, solution for a fake news website. So you can see as I make the application larger at some point at 900 pixels wide actually each of the individual news items will become extremely large 400 by 400 when we go with a smaller size it's more like 200 by 275 also when we get larger you can see that uh, the title grows from an 18 point font to a 26 point font and there are instructions for this I'll call your attention to in just a moment. Furthermore, if we were to run this on uh, the um, on mobile, you wouldn't be able to see this search box any longer. It would be um, hidden. The visibility would be collapsed. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about which of the techniques that you've learned uh, you should use to, to make that happen. All right, so let me shut that down. I'm giving you the resources with this lesson uh, and it'll include a number of different things like screenshots of things that we just looked at in the live demo. Furthermore, there are a series of instructions. I highly recommend you keep these handy. You're going to create just the beginning of a fake news app. Now, I, you know, if this were a real app, we'd go out to an online service, pull down data, and then bind to it. And we'll, we'll do something similar to that when we get to the weather app. Um, that we'll build together here in just a little while. But in this case, I'm going to give you some, some hard-coded data to use for the application. But essentially, each news item will contain an image, a headline, a subhead, and a dateline. So when you're going to create a new a news item class that's going to have these properties, and you're going to then create a bindable collection of these items and then bind to them using a grid view. Uh, let me see if there's anything in here. I, I would highly recommend that you read through this thoroughly. I'm going to give you all the images that you'll need. So there are five financial images, five, five food images that you'll use. They correspond with data that I'm going to give you in this little helper method that's to be used with a manager class that you'll build. So here's a little helper method that will return a list of five financial news stories and five food news stories. Okay, I give you, let's walk through this. Um, use techniques that we discussed previously to create this. Uh, having said that, you're only going to need to create a main page.xaml, so we're not going to uh, utilize the, um, the device family specific view. Uh, instead, we're going to do this all with the Visual State Managers and um, adaptive triggers. Okay, uh, you're going to use a grid view. You're also going to create a user control that will store those values because you'll have to use that technique, right? Because we're going to resize each of the individual um, uh, the templates for the news items in the in the data template for the grid view. Uh, I think a lot of this is self-explanatory. Um, I just have a keen eye here towards these two items. Each news item should be 200 by 275 when in a narrow state, 400 by 400 wide in a tall state, in the, or rather in a wide state. And the wide state I'm defining is 900 minimum window width. And then the auto suggest box when the width is less than 400 it should be hidden. So the only way you would really be able to see this, because you can't see it when you're running on the local machine, is when you actually run it on w one of the smaller device emulators. So let's go ahead and run that real quick. Now just to note, we're not actually implementing the auto suggest box. We're not implementing search. I just want you to be able to successfully use the Visual State Manager to show and hide based on the width of the window. And so again, when it's less than 400 pixels wide, then it should not, it, the um, the visibility of that auto, uh, the auto, uh, auto suggest box should be uh, collapsed, and when it's greater than 400, it should be visible. Okay, and uh, I think that's all that I really wanted to say about this. Uh, I give you all of the Sago MDL2 assets that you'll need. Uh, the colors, the font sizes, the margins. When in doubt, reference those. 
um, the screenshots that I give you, A, B, and C, uh, that are available in that, so in that folder. Uh, and then obviously here this uh, helper method which will which will give you um, the list of, uh, of news items okay uh, this should probably take you 40 45 minutes uh, if you make no mistakes and you know what you're doing if you're new to all this it might take a little bit longer don't get discouraged keep struggling and pushing through you can do this I know you can reference the videos and the cheat sheet that we just went over previously and I know you can figure this out okay just want you to get some hands-on exercise alright so if you get stuck take a look in the next videos uh, I've split them out so that you can find the part that is pertinent to what you're looking for hope that helps and uh, good luck and I know you can do this thanks